Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. So I actually have filmed some clips like really randomly this week. So started off the week in Central. Excuse my phone. Started off the week in Central. Johnny and I went out for a nice breakfast and had a little look around the shop. So I'm gonna put some clips in now and then I will show you what I picked up. Completely unintentional, however, they are pieces that have been on my wish list. Well, one of them is. She's a guy that's bought my shopping. No, I've been doing. We went for a nice breakfast <laughs> and then I thought, well, we're here anyway, why don't we have a little browse? And then they had the bag that I've been eyeing up for a while, so tried it on and it's nice, isn't it? That is the easiest person in the world to sell to. She's that's bought not... accessories for a bag. Oh, yeah, I have bought accessories, but I don't buy things randomly. Like, I've been thinking about this bag for a couple of months, so it's very chuffed. Anyway, now we're off to find a wine and then head home to our pig. Who is it? Who is it, bud? I've had a bit of a stressful few days, and Lauren has just texted me and said something's arriving at your front door. So I thought I have to get it on the camera for you guys to see. Who do you think it is? <laughs> oh, thank you. She sent me a little goodie bag with my favourite thing. Oh my god, stop it. She's so funny. Dash. <laughs> my my favourite water in the whole world. It's a little care package. Little olives. Food eggs. Alright. They're coming for you. <laughs> Manuka honey oat cakes. Hot shop. Daily dose hot shop. Lemon, ginger, agave and cay cayenne pepper. This is the one you get from... She literally just or? messaged again just a few of your favourite things. Oh my god, she's too But they're hot. I can't do that, I literally love her so much. Ooh. Ooh, this is the gift from Zach. Metro Sparkling Energy Pineapple Yuzu. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Isn't she so What sweet? would crackers be without cheese? Oh my god, honestly, I love her so much. That is such a, that's such, such a kind thing to do, isn't it? Yes, honey, it's thoughtful, it's, it's very nice. So one of the shops I went to was Fendi. Um, I have had this bag on my wish list for actually not that long, probably for like a month, a lot less time than I would normally have something on my wish list before I buy it. However, I thought I'd go in and try it on and see what I think. And I thought I would love it, but I didn't think I would love it as much as I actually do. Um, it was so nice. And then obviously having Johnny there who also was obsessed with it. So I was like, okay, do you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. This is what I picked up. It's the Fendi sunshine bag in the medium size in the canvas. So I was between, oh, I can't remember the name of it. There's a Louis Vuitton tote bag as well. And it was the same price as this one. And it's not the Neverfull, it was something else. You find a picture. So the Louis Vuitton one is called On The Go. So this is the one. I was debating either this one or the one that I got. So my dilemma was the Louis Vuitton one was leather and so I felt like the price was a lot more justified because it's leather. But I would probably only ever wear that one traveling and not, I don't think I'd get the cost per wear out of it. Whereas the Fendi one is canvas, but I will use it for traveling and I'll also use it on holiday and I'll use it on the beach and it definitely works into my spring summer wardrobe a lot more, which is when I tend to wear tote bags a lot more. So, I was between the two, I went into Louis Vuitton, I didn't try on that bag but I looked at it and then went into Fendi and tried this one on and I was sold immediately, it's so pretty. So like I say, it's called the Sunshine Tote in canvas in the size medium, I think this is the biggest size that they actually do. When I say travelling, I actually travel quite a lot because even if I'm to go home to my family house, I travel, like I have to get on an airplane every time I go home, so I am always going through the airport and tote bags are very, very handy for me. So although yes, I'll use it like traveling to holidays. I think of traveling, I think more of like just any time I'm in an airport. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, so this is what it looks like. How stunning is it? So it's in the canvas. I love that it's got branding, but it's not like super loud and super in your face. It's quite um, muted. The handles are my absolute favorite thing in the world. They're this gorgeous dark wood with gold, um, detailing on there as well. The leather trim also matches in with the handles. And then when the guy was showing me the, uh, the bag, he pulled out this, I think they call it a silky in Fendi, um, this little silk 
scarf thing and he started tying it around the handle and I was like yeah I'm not gonna want that I'm not gonna like it um and then I felt like it just completely transformed the back like instantly made it look so different um, I'm not gonna take it off because I don't know how to get it on as neat as he's done it but this is basically what it looks like otherwise with the wooden handle and then obviously the right way around it would have all the branding and then I feel like when he put it on it just made it like a complete different bag so I feel like the wood makes it a bit more like summery more kind of beachy and um, a little bit more kind of casual and then when he put this silk scarf on it I was like oh my god it looks so nice I feel like it makes it more kind of chic and day-to-day -day and wearable for like now this wasn't too bad it was definitely under 200 pounds um and then also on holiday I can wrap it into my hair I can put it as like a headband um that's probably the only time I'd ever use it like that would be on the beach but yeah this is my new bag so beautiful it's such a good size it's a bit bigger than my Chloe tote um but not huge and I don't know it's just a really great size still compact I like that it's structured and then the inside is a bigger strap which I think is very handy um not that I'd probably use this too much but if I needed to the options there I also really like the color of it in this lovely khaki and then the inside is just one big compartment no pockets no zips nothing just one big drop-in compartment I am going to get an organizer for in here because it is very deep and I feel like things are going to go missing in there so I'm going to buy an organizer on um Amazon just to slip inside it but this is my new bag I love it so much so that's the first thing that I picked up on my little shopping spree it's really not like me to go on a shopping spree but we were in town and some things have been on my list so it was a bit more impulsive of when I bought it it definitely wasn't like an impulse buy um so that's my bag and then I have been meaning to pick up something from Chloe for a while so you know my Chloe Lauren lace sneakers you guys know how much I wear them it's actually ridiculous they are surgically attached to my feet um but I have worn them to absolute death and they are looking very worn and worse for wear i think i've had them about two years now i think they're about 500 pounds cost per wear of those shoes for me must honestly be like 1p <laughs> i wear them so 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 much but yeah over time they have got really 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 grubby and i have tried to clean them up but they're just not coming up brand new and um, also on the back where the logo is kind of like accidentally like got like scratched off a bit of the logo actually quite a big chunk of the logo um which is not good so it's been on my to-do list to pick up a new pair for a while and it kind of hurt my heart because I do already have them and you know I'm kind of debating it for a while like can I clean them up can I get them looking brand new again and I couldn't so I took the plunge and I got some new trainers I'll show you this other pair that was in the store which I'm obsessed with and the thing is with Chloe trainers I know that I wear them so I have the black ones I wear all the time I have the cream ones which I've just repurchased I also have a pair of leather ones which I don't get the wear out of as much because they're actually I'd say like a half size too small which is annoying um but I had already worn them out a couple times before I decided like that was the issue so I mean I can wear them but if it's hot then my feet get really like sore inside them um and then I also have a pink pair which I love I just I wear them so much so although this is a repurchase the ones that I have my eye on I think I'm gonna have to pick up because I know I get the wear there you go so so pretty so they're the leather and then they have this like rope detail all across them which i just love they look so lovely and clean <laughs> so this is what they look like um i'm sure you've all seen them a thousand times on my channel i wear a size 36 which is my true size i'm a 36 for 36 and a half um so the i would say the true to size um i personally find them so so comfortable but a lot of you guys message me and say like how are you wearing them they're so uncomfortable so i don't know what that is also a lot of you message me and say that you had to take a full size up whereas i wear true to size so i'm kind of confused <laughs> i'm not really sure why that is i actually the only thing i can think is maybe it's because i have really narrow feet so maybe if you have like normal size feet or wider feet You'll need to take a size up but i have narrow feet and i wear true to size and i find them very very comfortable so a lot of you ask about this lace trim and like what socks can you wear i wear black socks white socks gray socks like i wear any kind of socks under them you actually don't i mean a lot of the time i wear it with wide trousers so you don't see um but if i was going out and you could see the whole shoe i would just wear a white sock you do see through it but it's not crazy like you see the tissue in there is white 
and it's all stuffed down it's not that obvious like it doesn't look white against the cream you know um, and then also the netting is there can you see this yeah the netting but then it is actually lined inside so like there's this whole lining in here it's not just the net and then straight into your skin which i think makes them a lot more practical i can wear them out when it is raining like i say obviously not pouring down but if it is like drizzling your feet don't get wet in these um i think that's all the questions that you guys ask me about these but anyway very glad with a new pair also how cute is that going to be together just love it and as i was checking out in the store they had this whole display of like beautiful perfume bottles i always think that we do like some of the absolute nicest perfume bottles anyway um but i don't know if this is like a new collection of perfume or what but there's about eight or nine um all laid out and to be honest i didn't love actually like the majority of the perfumes but this one i absolutely fell in love with so this is called iris um how gorgeous is that bottle? I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's quite powdery for sure, but still quite fresh. And the one thing I'll say about this is I have never, ever, ever in my whole life ever smelled a perfume that is even remotely close to this. Like, it's so unique. And Sorry, I'm absolutely terrible at describing, but it's gorgeous. So I also picked this up as a little treat to myself. I just um, <laughs> edited the clips that you guys have just literally just watched, and I felt like I look absolutely miserable <laughs> anyway i am not miserable i am just taking off my makeup because i've got facial in notting hill at Codely, at the Codely spa which i'm excited about do not judge because i'm going for a facial i feel like i can use a makeup wipe um but yeah i haven't been there for so long it's a tiny little shop in notting hill um loads of parking in notting hill as well which is great on westbourne grove or like just up from there and they do massages like body massages and facials so the like top is a store and then downstairs is the treatment room so it's really nice i haven't shown you guys this um this was my mole that got removed it seems like it's healed up pretty well i've changed the bandage once or the plaster once um yeah that's all like the aftercare anyway i'm really trying not to wear this outfit like often because i feel like it's too nice to like wear it at home like with the dog and things but i feel like for a facial it's the perfect the perfect outfit maybe i'll put on my prada slippers I like these are I'm calling my name but do i look like i'm wearing my pajamas kind of okay i'm either gonna wear these excuse the mess or my chloe trainers i feel like my chloe trainers because i literally look like i'm in my pajamas right now <laughs> Honestly, my skin has just got so crusty on that drive. I think it's from using that makeup wipe. I swear they just dry out your face. Um, anyway, I'm just parked up. Obviously, I'm early. I'm actually half an hour early. <laughs> I just can't ever be on time. I'm always super early because of the fear of being late. So I always just leave so early to everything. But it's fine. I like sitting in the car. I absolutely love notting hill like i think it's probably one of my favorite places in london um i've looked so often at right move to try and find somewhere here to live but it's just so expensive and then there's literally nothing at all in our budget for the size of house we need but if i was like single and wanted to be in london i feel like it would be if there's some really cool like one two bedroom flats something i will not miss at all in london is the road rage like not at me and not from me just like constantly every single time you get in the car and go on a journey like somebody is like honking their horn at someone else or like it's just constant there's just so many angry people that drive here i feel so squeaky clean and hydrated that was so nice it's always so good in there honestly like you want to fall asleep um but anyway i think my skin looks a hell of a lot better than it did going in <laughs> i do have a little pimple cut out here but that's good it's just like purging i guess good morning so i forgot to intro today but i went to westfield i had some zara returns to do and then i had a little look around zara h&m space nk i think that was it I did film a little bit in zara i didn't try clothes on anywhere else so here you go frizz is very annoying anyway i'm in zara picked up a few bits to try on this lovely dress and a bummer i'm gonna just try them on and show you um, 
I like this, but with smart trousers, but not jeans. What I picked up in Zara was this little bomber jacket, which I think looks really expensive. I don't think it looks like Zara. I feel like it looks kind of like Massimo or Reese. First of all, the colour just caught my eye. I, I tried this on tonight. Yeah, you guys would have seen this tried on. But the colour really caught my eye. I like how it's kind of like a masculine jacket. Like, definitely feels quite masculine. Like how I kind of showed you in the try on clips. I'm going to like tuck it up to make it a little bit shorter. I think paired with like wide cream trousers like my Reese ones. Um, hair probably up, gold jewellery, aviator sunglasses, I think it'll be quite a cool look. So this was 89.99 and I got it in a size small. Also ended up picking up that dress. I'm torn between if I should have got the small or the medium. Um, I did try them both on and I actually couldn't decide. The small looks lovely but maybe slightly tight over my bust and then the medium definitely wasn't as tight but if I made the waist tight then it kind of bunched up the back. Um, so I need to try it on again without a bra. I could not be bothered to do it in the store. Try it on without a bra and see, but I think the small will be absolutely fine. I also am hormonal right now, so my chest grows a lot in that period. I feel like it's going to be a really good one for all occasions. So with trainers coming into the warmer days and then on holiday with sandals or dressed up with some wedges. I think it'll be really nice. So this was 55 99 I went to Space NK. So Westfield opened up a new Space NK, which is huge i mean it's not like huge huge it's not like multiple multiple stories but it's so big compared to what space nk usually looks like and there were so many brands in there and it was just a really lovely like store to wander around i had a 25 pound like not voucher but my points card for space nk i had 25 pounds on it which was good so i got a little bit of discount um so i actually went in there to get some body wash because i ran out of stuff for the shower i had no idea that space nk do their own brand is this new? I'm not sure. Black pepper, juniper berry, tonka bean, and some other stuff that I can't pronounce, but it smells so good. I picked up this Codely deodorant. I had used this a while ago and I didn't, I don't know why, but I, in my head, like I didn't get on with it. But I can't remember not liking it. I think maybe I just finished it and then like never used it again. So I thought I'd pick it up again. It is a natural deodorant and it smells so good. It's glyptus and grape and like a gel a really soft like i don't know <laughs> and then some bits i haven't tried before so first of all they had a really nice tan lux station um i used to love tan lux i used to love the face oil i used to love i still love the hydra mousse i think it's called um yeah i just think it's a really nice brand i thought i'd have a little look this one's called the butter just a really nice like thick moisturizer so i got that to try it's a Illuminating tanning butter, so I will report back. I have literally scrubbed clear of tan right now So I'm in desperate need of a good a good top up. So I'll start with um, A proper tan and then I'll use that to top up and I'll update you guys. This is called the cream So advanced hydration self tan facial cream, which I thought looked really nice. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay <laughs> Wait, is it? Is it a little spatula? Who knows? Cream helps support barrier function and fight the effects of environmental aggressors. Squalene and potent plant extracts work to deeply nourish and hydrate whilst just the right amount of DHA leaves skin radiant and sun-kissed glow. And the last two things I got was this from Shant is it Shantakai? Shantakal? Shantakali? Shantak I think it's Shantakai. So this is just a tinted SPF. I really was not sure on my shade. Honestly, like, all the shades kind of looked orangey to me. This was the one I thought would be probably closest oh god no that is very orange oh well actually it might be all right when i have tanned you can't see at all but it's just a really nice tinted moisturizer with spf as well spf 15 the final thing i got was from fresh beauty which i actually don't think i've ever tried fresh beauty before not sure if i have um but they had some really lovely looking products so had a little mooch around their stuff and i saw this rose deep hydration sleeping mask replenishes and locks hydration honestly it just looks so interesting let me open it and show you first of all i think the packaging is just beautiful it's like heavy duty it feels expensive 
And then inside it's a gel and a cream. So you put on the gel first and then you put on the cream as like, I guess it like locks in whatever the gel does. But smells gorgeous and I thought that it sounded really nice. Just put on two layers of Saint Tropez Express Mousse. I feel like this always gets me like the best base tan and I haven't tanned in, I think like, maybe like two weeks, you know, and then I scrubbed everything off. So I'm feeling really good. Like, you know, when you put a tan on after not being tanned for so long, it just feels so much better. So I've got that on my body. And then on my face, I used that new um, Tan Lux moisturizer. So I will put back tomorrow. And then in my hair, I have a growth serum from Vegamore around my roots. I'm really balding here again. I feel like I managed to fix it for a while when I used their serum like consistently. And then I stopped using it and I can really tell you see there? Weird. Anyway, I've got that on and then I have Moroccan oil on my ends. So I'm fully TLC'd up. Um, anyway, this is a big delivery we just had come through the door of a new dog gate. This is the old one. It's so good. It was from Lords and Labradors. I just love how simple it is. Like, honestly, it sounds easy, but it's actually really hard to find a very simple, basic dog gate. Um, so we went to try and buy this one again because actually Johnny broke this, not Biggie. What did you do, Johnny? <laughs> and you stacked it. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't know that's what you did. Johnny tried to jump over it. <laughs> and stick with me. I thought you just ran through or something. Anyway, so it's... <laughs> that's so embarrassing. God, I wish I... Anyway, we've got a new one that's arrived. Where did we get it from? Was it Wilco? I don't know where it's from, but I'm gonna build it now. I look like an actual egg. I'm gonna build it now um, and get it set up because we have our cleaners in tomorrow and we need that to stop him running around after them. Um, and then I'll link it down below because I don't actually know where it's from, but I will find out for you. What the hell is for you? Watch your face. This is like flat pack, the other one just came already made. Um, I haven't, don't realize there's a flat pack. And as soon as I see flat pack, I feel like I need a glass of wine to get me through it. No, don't eat that. I'm gonna have a little glass of red. I know I was just talking about balance in last week's vlog, but I feel like flat pack calls for a nice glass of wine. Although I did buy this wine like a week ago. No, probably like on the weekend, so like four days ago. No, like five days ago. And it tasted, oh, that doesn't smell good. It tasted off like a week ago, but I didn't know if it was just because I hadn't had red wine in like months that I kind of, it tasted really alcoholy. that's how I described it. And now it kind of smells like vinegar. Let's see. That actually tastes all right. That's weird. Very weird. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this and build. I'm also watching a documentary on <laughs> on channel four called Breastfeeding My Boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. I mean, I can guess what it's about. But um, yeah, I'm gonna stick that on and get cracking with building this. I gave up on the gate after like well, I didn't even you try didn't it. You unpacked it. I unpacked it and then I saw all the screws and I was like, yeah, not happening. So Johnny's doing it right now. It's good. I think it actually looks more expensive than the current. Go see it. Okay, there's our gate. <laughs> actually looks really similar to the last one, but I will link it down below because I'm forever getting asked about our dog gates. Um, oh, how does that work? Oh, you can lock it. It's like a proper child one. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna leave it down below. Morning. That coffee is in order. I have a very early meeting this morning um, at 9.30, which actually isn't that early, but I have to leave the house like probably an hour before um, to get there. So I'm just getting ready. I curled my hair again today. I'm over the Dyson Air Wrap phase. It was making my hair too frizzy, but now it doesn't look cute and <laughs> curled. I feel like it looks really like flat and then really bushy. Maybe it just needs a few more days to like settle into the hairstyle. Anyway, um, I'm wearing this new jacket that I got from Zara. I love this so much. I love it. I think it looks really expensive. I like the 
shoulder pads, I like the collar, I like the hidden hardware. I've tucked it up and into my bra, which, I mean, it's working. I think it'd be better if I wore like a sports bra and tucked it into that. But I've just done this for the minute. I've pushed the sleeves up just to give it a little bit more casual vibe. And then I have these cream trousers on from Stradivarius. Yeah, these trousers are Stradivarius and I think it looks quite cute. Just really simple, easy. I'm gonna wear my Chloe trainers and then my YSL mini Cassandra. Quickly before I go, cute vision of my bum in the mirror. Just quickly before I go, um, these are my old Chloe trainers and this is what the back looks like. So you see like this has all come off and it's all just, it's, they're just like disgusting. They're also like stained with fake tan. <laughs> and then the back is like, that's caused like abrasion in the back. But yeah, I mean, they really are worse for wear. Just putting them on at the minute and covering them with my trouser. <laughs> so you can't see it. But um, yeah, I wanted to show you them. So you understand why I had to get a new pair. So I just got back from my meeting and now I have um, a holistic vet coming in to see Biggie. We had our first session last week and it was so good. Um, basically like Joe, our normal trainer, obviously has trained him with us um, to get him to a point where he's not aggressive and he's not reactive and he isn't like going for people like if someone came in the house he would bark and bark and bark and like lunge and just go crazy so she's got rid of all that from him which is great but now he has realized he doesn't need to be aggressive he's now really nervous which definitely shows us that the reason he was aggressive was because he was nervous which is what we always thought or anxious um but now that the aggression is gone he's a very nervous dog when someone comes in so I found this vet, holistic vet nurse um, on Instagram and she works at Love My Human, which is the dog shop that I love in the dog shop on Kings Road. Um, and she came in for a session last week and oh my God, it was actually insane. Long story short, she works with like natural essential oils um, and she doesn't have to like touch him or doesn't have to like be near him. She just has this kit of essential oils and basically it's like the dogs will respond to the oils and like the ones that they need. So for example, he responds really well to like the anxious smell. So like chamomile for calming, um, I can't remember, there were so many. And it's just like an hour session and he just, she sits like five meters away from him, but she just holds the oils out. And he, it was just weird how he reacted. Like she took out one for trauma, which could be through his anxiety or like being dying. He could have like a trauma response to that. When she took out the oil for that one, he just started like moaning and groaning and like not in pain, but just like making the weirdest noises. And she was saying that's just him like releasing trauma at him. I know this probably sounds like super woo woo um, and will not be for everyone, but I just think it was, I just thought it was amazing. And I'm really intrigued to see like how he's going to be in the next couple sessions. And then eventually once we've worked out the oils that he responds to and likes um i'm gonna buy some if we think that he needs like a little smell of them um then we'll bring them out and he'll react to them so i don't know it's really interesting i'll leave her page down below like, i think it's best if you do your own reading and um, the other benefit is that she is a vet so god forbid biggie ever gets in a situation where he needs a vet um he's really comfortable around her or he's getting really comfortable around her and he loved her he never had any like aggression or nervousness towards her whereas when we take him to the vets he is very anxious in there and um, he's fine to like walk in but as soon as a vet comes near him he freaks out and that stresses us out because if he's ever in a situation of emergency like i don't know what we're supposed to do i think it's a really interesting thing i'd never really heard of it before um but having had that one session me and johnny were both like that is the weirdest thing we've ever seen in our life like it was just wild how he responded they also got a lot more comfortable to like come near her and she was like, let him choose out the oil that he wants. So he went to her little kit and the oil he picked out was the oil that helps with hormonal imbalances, um, which is wild because we think that a lot of his aggression or nervousness comes from um, too much testosterone. So maybe there's like an imbalance there, but I just thought out of like the 60 oils that he could have went to, that was the one that he chose. It was just weird. So yeah, I'm also gonna um, book him in for um, chemical castration, which I was really not on board with, like at all. 
I don't know why I just had Johnny and I both just had such an opinion on it and we were like it's just not something we want to do for him but actually having talked to loads of people and researched it a bit more um, I think it'll be the best option for Biggie it only lasts like six months and so if he responds well after those six months then we'll get the full castration done um, but I'm just worried now that if he if we were to get the full castration done what if he reverts back what, what if it ends up being negative for him and then we can't reverse it. I do feel a little bit unsure of it, honestly. Like, the fact that I'm like messing with his hormones rather than just removing. But if it turns out that he is a lot worse without testosterone, then I'll be thanking myself so much that I didn't do the full castration. So yeah, anyway, that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. It's only an hour appointment. Um, she'll be here in about 15 minutes and then it's Friday, so a nice chill night. And then tomorrow I have laser hair removal on my bikini area, which I'm very excited about. Apparently it's quite sore, but I didn't find the test patch sore. But I feel like the test patch is only like on the top section down below. And I feel like when you get into the more kind of sensitive sections, it will probably hurt. <laughs> um, so I've got that tomorrow. And then also another session of my new era, which I'm absolutely loving. And a lot of you guys are messaging me being like, have you done something to your skin? So clearly it's working. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna go. I will update you afterwards, maybe when she's here. And yeah. Being cheeky now, huh? That's good. It's confident. Yeah. I'm not gonna lean in, in for him because I'm afraid he's gonna be yeah. afraid that. that he just got so confident when I got up. Yeah, it's true. That's you're destroying everything. I just don't want it on the floor for you. This is the worst because this is a bit yellow. Oh, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. The other one is hurt. This one is terrible. This stain is so bad. <laughs> mm. What one's that one again? Arnica. Oh, okay. Good morning everybody, it's now Sunday and we're on our way for a roast at a new spot. Is it new or have we just not been there? Uh, I've not been there, no. we've not been there. Is it new though? Uh, new the end of last year. Called Le Petit? Le Petit Beef Bar, there's lots of them around the world. Oh, That's so it's a chain. I'm so in the mood for a roast, so I'm very excited. We haven't had a roast in months. Um, and then also I tried that Chantecaille tinted SPF this morning and I love it gives enough I wouldn't wear it on a day where I have bad skin but then saying that I have an outbreak a little tiny actually to be fair it's kind of gone it looked worse yesterday um on my chin and I feel like it's done a really good job at covering my face so really nice I did put like not a lot on but probably the same amount as I would a foundation if I was going to do like it on the beach I would just probably use the same amount that I would a moisturizer and it would just it would give like less coverage but yeah I'm really really liking it so that's good and also I had my laser hair removal yesterday I did not feel a single bit of pain like honestly it was absolutely painless and it literally took like five minutes I don't know why but in my head I thought it was gonna take like half an hour or 45 minutes even dignity lose your dignity well it was a little bit awkward but obviously <laughs> the girls are so used to it you just can't be awkward about it but, um the only thing that i could feel because they blast like ice cold air and then laser so the only thing that i could like feel which wasn't uncomfortable just like started getting cold was just the cold air but the actual and also the top section i could feel a little bit of the laser but like nothing to make you flinch nothing to make you in pain just like you knew what was happening um, and then the underneath bit was literally painless, which I thought it would be the opposite way around I thought the top bit would be painless and the underneath bit would probably be a little bit more sensitive But yeah, absolutely painless. So I'll pop my clinic down below, but I'm excited to Like get to the end of this treatment and then like never have to use a razor again Never get shaving rash again Never have to bring a razor on holiday. Like it's just gonna be game-changing um, So yeah, very excited and that's really all I have to update you on I think. Biggie's session was really good. He was a little bit more nervous this time just for like five minutes of the session 
I don't really know what that was about. I feel like something spooked him. Apart from that, he loved it. And he feels, he seems like more rejuvenated this time. Whereas last time he went to sleep straight away and was like conked out. Whereas this time he just kind of felt more rejuvenated and like, it was really nice. Anyway, I think he's, you like, you think it's good, don't you? Yeah. I think he really enjoys it. Um, I wouldn't say he really enjoys it, but it's, it's beneficial. There's something that's happening, yeah. Yeah, for I sure. Say, <laughs> I don't have the same <laughs> thing as you are, he really enjoys it. Maybe he doesn't love it, but <laughs> something's working for sure, so that's good. I think we're going to do like two more sessions, and then I'm going to book him for the castration after the sessions, I think. Um, or the chemical castration. But yeah, that's all my updates. I'm wearing the same outfit as the other day, so I want to try and get a picture in it. Before it literally snows next week. It's meant to snow in London next week. Like, is that actually a joke? That's always good for the gram. I just put out a whole like spring video. Like, I'm so sick of my coats. Let's wear dresses now. And now it's gonna actually snow. I can't believe it. But I'm still gonna crack on with the wardrobe clear out because I'm sick of all the jackets and knits and all that jazz. So maybe I'll do that for Wednesday's video. I can do a whole wardrobe clear out video. Because I don't really have anything like fashion focused to film. And yeah, anyway, I will show you my roast when I get it. Right now I'm standing in the corner. I'm having another glass of red wine, but I feel like it's acceptable because it's the weekend. And it was like a date day, wasn't it? Anyway, we're at, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. Roast day. We're <laughs> at, um, a pub that's like super close to our house that we've been saying we should go to for like two and a half years, haven't we? Yeah, it's not a local, but it's like in the area. Yeah. And for two and a half years, we've driven past it, but we should go there, we should go there, we should go there. We never have been, but it's actually quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, it's not the nicest, but nice. we could have come here many a time Put over the last inside. two and a half years. Anyway, I, I'm probably going to leave the vlog there, guys. Johnny gets so it. uncomfortable filming in public. Yeah, There's literally not, nobody it's around not normal us. <laughs> There's nobody outside. There's a big glass window. Anyway, I'll see you all in next week's video. Peace out and God bless. <laughs>